Yo, what is going on? Everyone in the crypto space. Uh, today, I really wanted to talk about uh, why XRapid might be adopted faster than we actually think. So, I brought up some examples here uh, in just the last couple of years of how businesses react when a some sort of new technology or service or material gets used. Every single other business in that market will chew it up and adopt it immediately. And I mean... All these examples I show you here, they're real, they're real business examples. They're, these are actually big companies where one, one company decided to come out with a product and all of a sudden the rest of the residing companies in that market, they come out with the exact same thing, if not similar. And we see this trend happen all throughout history in businesses that for the industrial revolution, for example, a couple of businesses started to use machines instead of just pure labor. What happened? Machines were mass adopted because it was less labor cost. I mean, even the labor conditions back then were horrible, but still in the terms of just business, the labor was cheaper, but more was getting done with the machines. And you can, you can look at any sort of business in history and see that when one business in a certain market does something, every single other business will adopt it or create something similar because of the feedback that the market is giving to that product. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples here just to prove my point about why I think XRAP is going to be going to be adopted faster than we think. So at the end of the video, then I'll, I'll do my little conclusion about how this actually plays in, how this how this could actually look when XRAP is adopted by 10, 20 banks, how that would reflect on the rest of the banks. First example here, 4K TVs. When 4K curved, especially 4K curved TVs came out into the market, I think one or two companies came out with curved TVs. All of a sudden, every single tech company that makes TVs came out with a curved TV. Then companies who created monitors, created ultra-wide monitors that are curved. Once this hit the market, they saw the consumer reaction and they saw the sales it actually gave to the business and how much it boosted the business's revenue. That the other, the other tech companies had no choice but to create a 4K TV that was curved because of how the market reacted to it and how much their business was making off this product. So business will, businesses will follow a trend. Once one business in a market does something different, every other business will follow that trend because what they're doing different always ends up benefiting the consumer or creates something new in the market. So the other businesses have no choice but to hop onto it to keep themselves relevant in technology. Next example, VR headsets. Oculus, when they first came out with the because uh, there was like the developer kits, but when they first came out with the consumer kit, all of a sudden, all these companies come out of the for out of the background and create their VR headsets. So once once Oculus created their own, then all of a sudden, uh, HTC created their own. The the Microsoft created their own. Uh, PlayStation created their own. Google made their own little cardboard box or cardboard little box thing. So once Oculus came out with the consumer edition of the VR headset, four other companies copied it and did the exact same thing because they saw the feedback it was giving. They saw the feedback it was getting from the market. They saw the business's revenues going up because they're coming out with a new technology. And these businesses, they FOMO'd into creating the same exact thing because they wanted to stay relevant and keep themselves, and, and, and essentially just keep the revenues going. Because especially, this, you see this trend happen the most when it comes to like actual electronics. I don't know why, but just because technology moves so quickly and new things come out all the time that... Once this VR headset came out, four different companies came out and created a VR headset because it was hitting record sales. It was something new to the market, and there's a lot of hype around it on uh, the headlines because virtual reality was something that didn't really come out to the consumer market until just recently. So once that came out, businesses started to create their own consumer virtual virtual reality headset. Next example: once the first iPhone came out, uh, before that there were no touchscreen phones, but all of a sudden, once the iPhone comes out, hits headlines. Consumers are loving it. It's faster. It has a lot of utility. All of a sudden, all these companies who create cell phones, they switch over to touchscreen because that's just the way it works. That's how markets evolve. One business will do something fantastic that the consumers just love and other businesses do it to take advantage of the revenue opportunity. Next example, this one's a bit different, but car frames used to be manufactured uh, with, with steel, but it was heavy and it cost more. But aluminum was actually lighter for better gas mileage, cheaper, business could expand revenue, and as well, it reacted better to rust it wouldn't rust and wouldn't react as wouldn't react as bad to erosion and also they started creating cylinders out of aluminum because it was cheaper faster more efficient 
That's just the way it's just the way things happen. When something new like this gets brought to the market, every single business will adopt it because if you don't, you're going to get beaten out by your competition by not having something new and fresh that's that's just benefiting the market overall. This next example, you might think I'm actually trying to make a joke, but I'm not kidding. When Carl Jr. first came out with the $4 real deal box, dude, me and my friends would constantly go to Carl Jr. because you could get a double cheeseburger, a chicken sandwich, fries, and a drink for $4. Four dollars could get you all of that. It was a game changer to the market. So once Carl's Jr. came out with it, Wendy's all of a sudden has a four for four. And Burger King, they decided to take a step up and do a five for four to really beat out the competition. And then KFC, they do a similar thing, doing a five dollar fill-up. You can see how this translates into other markets. I mean, once in I don't care what market you're talking about, if one business creates something new that's exciting and just gets a such a positive reaction from the consumers. Other businesses will do the same thing. Businesses will hop onto trends so fast. It's just the way it is. Even with not even real businesses, even with just like little small Shopify stores. Uh, I remember this one guy, uh, one guy on YouTube, he showed a dropshipping product nobody really knew about. And he did a couple of Facebook ads and Instagram influencers. And he made $4,000 in one week from that one product. You know what happened? Every single person that tried dropshipping sold that product and it absolutely got oversaturated because it worked very well for one entity. So every other entity tried to do the same thing. This evolves the same with X Rapid. Right now, we're, we're not seeing Ripple get as much clients as they could because right now it's still in beta. It's not out in the market. It's not getting the reaction of consumers and institutions saving money. Sure, the trials show that consumers are having less problems this way and they're saving a lot of money on the transaction on the banking end. But it's still in beta right now, so the, the traction of gaining an extra rapid partner is not as much as it could be. But here's the beautiful thing. Once X Rapid actually comes into the market, 10 to 20 businesses start using it. It makes headlines that businesses are now using cryptocurrency to slash rates by 80%. And, and turn a five-day transaction into minutes. That is going to be a game changer. Now, what happens? And Brad Garlinghouse did say there would be major banks using X Rapid, and major banks have a lot of influence, and a lot of smaller to mid-sized banks look up to these major banks. So, what happens when major banks use X Rapid, and their consumers are so happy, and the banks happy because they're saving tons of money, and the consumers happy because their their payment got settled in one to two minutes? This is just how business works. When, when one product comes out and it's just fantastic, every other business will take over that product. But here's the thing though. This is where Ripple really got smart with XRP. Sure, uh, a business can copy a VR headset and do the same thing. Sure, a business can copy a 4K TV and do the same thing. Any business can come out with their own phone. But you know what any business can't do? They can create an asset, but what they can't do is create liquidity. You don't create liquidity. Liquidity is something that happens over time and is not even a guarantee of happening. So that's Ripple's aces up their sleeve is XRP. And when XRP is the source of savings and instantaneous transactions across the globe, and businesses start to use it and consumers start to see that as just a standard now because their bank is doing it. Guys, more and more today, technology is becoming more and more about instant gratification. Especially my uh, my age group, the millennials, we can have an app on our phone, tap a button, and have an Uber driver at our door in six minutes. I can send someone a text and have them receive it in two seconds. I can call someone, have them pick up the phone in five seconds. There's and I can place a trade online and switch into XRP and purchase more crypto in a couple seconds. More and more with technology. Everything is becoming more about instant gratification. If information and if everything we do is instantaneous and payments aren't the same way, there's a serious problem. But once a small group of banks start to provide these instantaneous payments and it's saving the banks money, consumers are happy, it makes headlines, banks are saving million, millions if not billions of dollars a year using this new technology, and they're unleashing dormant capital. We're going to see a massive wave of FOMO. This is why I think Ashish Burla stated he thinks they can hit a thousand, a thousand clients in the next two years. Because right now when everything is still in beta, it's a little bit hard to get traction. 
But Ripple has done a great job for not having uh, X Rapid even live and working. They still have a very good amount of clients that we know about. But once it's live and it's in place and it's working and institutions can, can, can see the consumer reaction and the institutional reaction from this kind of product, we're going to see a massive wave of FOMO. Imagine JP Morgan seeing uh, Mitsubishi Bank of Tokyo cut their transaction rates by 80% and provide transactions instantaneously and the consumers are just so happy about that. And at the same time, Mitsubishi Bank of Tokyo, let's say they save like 20 to 40 billion dollars per year. What bank wouldn't want to save that much money per year? This is why when the fudders on Twitter all say, oh, well, banks, they don't want to use XRP. It's like, yeah, because banks, they don't want to save any money. Why, why would banks want to save 80%? Why would banks want an extra $10 billion a year? Every single bank wants to save more money per year. If a business can save a penny, they're going to do it. That's why, when, guys, when XRP hits the market, it's going to, it's going to be adopted faster than we think. In any kind of market, all the examples I just showed you, in any kind of market, if something new comes out that's faster, cheaper, better, whatever, the consumers, the whole point is that the consumers love it. Every single business in that market is going to come out with the same thing. But that's where Ripple has it. Businesses can create something. They can create a digital asset, but they can't create liquidity. Liquidity is something granted over time. So guys, XRapid, it's going to be adopted faster than we think. But it's going to take XRapid going live first. Before, we're not going to have as much XRapid clients. But once we have banks actually go live on XRapid, makes headlines, consumers are happy, banks are saving money. Banks are bringing in billions of dollars more of revenue each year. That's going to create serious institutional FOMO. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, check the links in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one.